Well, families today are still trying to come to grips with their grief as more funerals are held for the shooting victims. Local 10's Ian Margul joins us live from Coral Springs where people gathered to remember Luke Hoyer. Ian. And earlier before this, we were over at Elena Petty's funeral as well. All of these communities in this area just giving one final honor to all of these victims that were killed last week. On Monday morning, music and singing spilled out of this church in Coral Springs during the funeral for Elena Petty, one of the students killed in Wednesday's attack at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. It doesn't feel real at all. No. I feel like you'll walk into her like at the store when you go to school the next day. Brooklyn, Hannah and Haley met Elena through church, but went to school with her as well. She was so smart. She never had to study for any of the tests <laughs> and she was just so kind to everyone. She never judged you based on what you were going through or who you were. She was always her. No matter where you were, you could always tell that's Elena. She never faked. She was always smiley and cheerful and beautiful. Across town, another funeral was going on at the same time. This one for Luke Hoyer. Luke's cousin posted this on Facebook after learning that he had been killed, saying, quote, tears will never show you how much I loved Luke. He had a wonderful life ahead of him, and now I live through him. Meanwhile, students who survived the attack are now reliving it, attending funerals for their friends who didn't make it, and hoping this tragedy can spark change. How did a 19-year-old yeah, get a end. rifle like just like that? And these funerals and other events to honor the victims are going to con continue throughout the week. We have all of the details about them on our website, local10.com. Calvin Janine.